Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Tharn, or T-H-A-R-N, and I'm not actually sure what that stands for. Um, it's a new game, it's on Steam, and uh, and we're here playing it. Oh. The game may or may not be loading. Dan woke up oh. to find that he was in some kind of strange waiting room. Had hours passed while he was sleeping? How did he get here? He knew he must be in the Tharn, as he had seen pictures of it on the telly box before. Dan only had one question. How do I get out? Okay. I, we are watching. Okay, so we can grab things by pressing the... Oh, can't grab that. There's a Mona Lisa there. We'll take, we'll take that. Oh, we found, we found something. What's that? What is that? It's nothing. Okay. I guess we're just sort of taking stuff apart here. Nope, okay. Please wait for assistance. Nope. We'll just put that down. There we go. Go through. Hello. Uh, okay. Oh, there's the key. There was the key there. Oh, there. there's like a bed and stuff. Okay, so they're, they're um, making some pretty strong parallels to the Stanley Parable. There we go. We're into the next room. I, I really like the Stanley Parable, so hopefully this is equally as good. You can't hide. Right. I'm not trying to hide there, guys. Just want to grab that. Okay. Let's go looking around. This The walking is very slow. You are happy the way things are. Cool? Right. Um, what is that? Oh. Move that chair. Uniqueness is weakness. Love it. Probably true. Probably true. Good job, Dan. You showed that glass who's boss. <laughs> nice. And that one. Okay. No, nope, let's just move all these. So far, I am kind of enjoying myself. This is, uh, it's interesting. All right. As Dan pressed on, his uneasiness grew. Where was everyone? Was he alone in the Tharn? Fearful that he would lose his mind, Dan continued. He had to. He had to escape this place. He had to be free. I guess I did. So we're trying to escape the Tharn, or whatever this is. The walking is very odd. I'm not sure why we need to walk this slowly, but we'll continue doing that, I guess. Okay. Um, we know best. Okay. Rule volume on a step-by-step -step guide to oppression. What else did they say? Oh, that's volume 17. Are they all different? It's easy as 8612. Rules volume one. How to tax more than is legal. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Volume four. I don't know. That, so that's a repeat. No, repeats. So you can drag them through each other, which is a bit weird. Um, I'm just trying to knock them all off. Because probably there's something in there. Probably. I don't know, man. Come on out, guys. Come on out. Alright, fine. I'm just got a pile of books now. Alright, let's throw a book through some glass. Mm. Oh. You are not authorized to use this phone. Okay. Then I won't. What about this one? You are not authorized to use this phone. Okay. So maybe none of them I'm authorized. You are not authorized no. to use this phone. Okay, so I'm not authorized to use any you phones. You are not authorized to use this phone. That's fine. Let's just keep breaking stuff. Might as well, because we can't we can't jump through. 
Okay, so we can't actually go that way. So there must be, ah, one of the, there was a code. I saw one. It's 8612. There we go. That's the code. So we're going to go back. Gonna go back to where the uh, the code was. I remember now. I'm onto it, guys. Oh, there was a door here. Did I just walk past this door? Oh, weird. Can I can I fall off? Um. Okay. Thank you for calling the Overseer Assistance Hotline. Your call is important to us and will be answered in the order that it was received. You are caller number 2,341. Please hold. Right. We are holding, I guess. Oh, what's back here? Anything? No? Your call is less important to us now. Haha! <laughs> Why are you still trying to call us? Is it not clear that we do not wish to speak with you? Nice. Why are you still trying uh, to call us? Repeat. Is it not clear that we do not wish to speak with you? Oh, I was hoping for more, but that's fine. All right. I don't know how I missed that door. It's 8612. I think that's what it was. That's all right. We're just going to go. We're going to pretend like I remember what it is. Really wish I could go faster than this, but that's fine. Okay, so there was a door over here that we're going to open. This door had a keypad next to it and wouldn't open without the proper code. Good job, Dan. You aren't as stupid as we all thought you were. <laughs> Rude. All right. So, what are we doing here? Let's. Now we're just breaking stuff for no reason. Um, okay, well, we don't need to break anything else. What is this? How to tax more than is legal. Step, step, step by step guide to oppression. And there's like a computer terminal over here. Let's go look at the computer terminal. What I am liking is that there Dan is... found oh. a computer terminal that would definitely increase his chances of survival. Too bad it's useless without the username and password. Right. I actually don't know the username and password. Okay. Um, yeah, what I'm liking is that uh, the game does reward explore exploration. So there's like a reason to do stuff. Will these open? I want them to open. I want these to open! All right, username and password. Nope. Maybe it's written on the bottom of it. Nobody knows. Okay. You are not authorized to use Lame. this Lame. Okay. I'll After some time, Dan came to a door that was definitely locked. Dan knew he must find an employee ID badge to get through. Okay. That's what I'm working on, team. Trying to find an employee ID badge. Right. No. We must... Oh, why does that one look different? Ahem. I said Dan knew he must find an employee ID badge if he wants to open that door. Why is he interrupting me? I didn't try and do that. Nah, whatever. I'll go. Tr I'll go try and find an employee ID badge down this way. I guess. Rude, Mister Rude Pants up there, talking to me. I've been through here. What's this one? Nice. Ah, employee ID. User Wester MW Pass Llama. Wester MW. Okay. Oh, no. Open the door. Oh, oh no. No, no. Oh, gosh darn it. 
It's on the ground. I can't pick it up. Okay. There we go. I got it. Yes. Wester MW Llama. All right. Let's go. Wester MW and Llama. Okay. So we need to go back to through here because there was the terminal. Wester MW Llama. Let's just leave that there and go through here. Western MW Llama. We're, we're getting there. We're solving stuff. Error. Must log in to use terminal. Help. Log in. Wester MW Llama. Good job, Dan. You broke the game. Players are not supposed to log into the creator's account. Quick, <laughs> log out and continue playing before anyone notices. Uh, no. Help. Log in, log out, admin, volunteer, log reboot, admin. Fan speed, lights, time, no door, no door. All doors located in Tharn have successfully been removed. Nice. Uh, admin. Pretty funny. Fan speed. Nine. Uh, admin. Gravity. All right. Type one of the following. Gravity on or gravity off? Gravity weird. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Hold on, let's go back to help. Vol I wonder what volunteer does. Thank you for showing interest in our volunteer test subject protocol position proposition. As a reward, cake may be provided to all participants. Unfortunately, we are not accepting volunteer requests at this time. Right. Um, okay. Oh. Uh, log out. Oh. <laughs> Can I go down by the door or I can't? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Can I get back to the terminal? I can. There we go. Log in. Uh, Wester MW Llama. Uh, gravity on. Log out. There we go. All right. So now we'll just go through the doors, which are all now open. Good job, team. We are unbelievable. And the fans are going really fast. I love As it. As Dan was beginning to lose hope, he found a hole. Wherever the hole went would be better than the Tharn. Besides, a hole must lead somewhere. And if Dan doesn't even know where he is going, then, by any logic, the hole must be leading in the right direction. Right. Who knows what lies beyond this mysterious door? And why is there a duck on the wall? A Unfortunately, that area is of no importance to the story, so we will never know the answers to these questions. Hey! Ah. Fine. I guess we're gonna go this way. So we got the we got the admin console just as we didn't need it. Okay. Okay, that's fine. It is what it is. Run. I mean, I can't run. Hi, Tharn is bad. Hi. Escape. Finally, Dan found a door with an exit sign. There must be a way to get across. Okay. Uh, let's throw the big red switch. After utilizing his electrical engineering expertise, Dan pulled the <laughs> big red lever on the wall. Dan heard the whiz of electricity as the power came on. Nice. Let's have that. And what's, what's through this door here? Nothing. Okay. Let's go throw this chair at the glass. And yes. 
And we made it. Dun 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 dun. Dan did it. He got through the Tharn. No government could beat Dan. He was at peace. At last, for the first time in his life, Dan felt free. With only one door ahead of him, Dan continued on to the happy ending that he deserved. Right, the end. Tharn, created by Matt Wester. Um, oh, right, Wester MW. Nice. Voiced by Baz Jones, written, in, written by Matt and Aaron Wester. For anyone who is unsatisfied with this ending, life is full of disappointments, so get used to it. It is stupid to expect otherwise. I bet you were wishing Hello? for... Dan, Wonderful wrap up are you still of the there, Dan? Story. You are still just standing there. <laughs> but oh well, life goes on. No llamas or ducks were harmed in the making of this game. Okay, am I just supposed to... Am I supposed to just hang out, or... It's pretty cool. I like that it's like an object. Can we see behind it? Is it backwards behind it? So... What are we supposed to do? Um, okay. I don't... I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Oh. We've gone off to the side. What are we doing? Oh, because there's got to be enough space for the objects. Okay. Um... Not actually sure what how we're supposed to finish it. I mean, is that the end? Do we? I'm not disappointed. I'm just uh, I kind of expected it to kick me back to the start or something. I don't know. I don't. All right, let's just let's walk back this way. See if there's a different option. So one thing about the Stanley Parable is that there's a lot more to do, I guess, a lot more interactions that make the narrator say stuff. I don't know, you know, this is this is short and it's in that same vein, so it kind of scratches that same itch, but what happens if I fall down? I didn't do that. So what happens? Uh, okay. Apparently the game freezes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the whole game just goes and, and freezes. Okay, well, let's go look at the description. Okay, Tharn. Do you have what it takes to beat the Tharn? Solve puzzles, crack codes, hack computers, smash glass, or just make a mess for the heck of it? Um, so, developer by Matt Web Matthew Webster and M. Web M. Wester Studios. Um, do you... Yep, yeah, we got that. Players will take on the role of Dan, a loving and law-abiding citizen. After some disturbances in his neighborhood, Dan went to his local community's Tharn facility, Tactical Human Assisted Research Network, to file a complaint. After being in a waiting room for hours, Dan decides to try to leave, but must face the labyrinth of the Tharn to do so. Players must try their best to solve puzzles, crack combinations, unlock doors, smash things, and even hack a computer system, all in an attempt to escape the facility. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's it, it doesn't stay around long enough to, to be annoying. Um, it's got quite a lot of polish to what's here um i guess the problem the main problem is there's just not a lot of content you know there's just not that much to do um so i mean that's not that's not that big of a deal but you know it's kind of a deal um it'd be, be it'd be better if there was a bit more that being said like i said what what's here is polished and probably worth the two bucks i'd say it's probably worth the two bucks although i did just play through it so if you just watch my entire playthrough, um, I just gave you all the solutions. I was not expecting to be beating the game in this sitting. So, uh, let's see if they've developed anything else. Uh, triplicata. Okay. No, well, we didn't play that. Um, and their studio has made triplicata. Cool. That's it. So, um, that's Thorn. I'm gonna leave it there. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's it's um, it's actually quite good. It's just short. That's my that's my biggest criticism. It's short, um, and it probably would be shorter if your character could actually walk a little bit more than what he can. Um, so maybe a little bit more content, maybe a little bit more stuff. But that's it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Class dismissed.